Hello everyone, David Rose here again at Bennett Marine. Today we're going to walk you through the differences in our hydraulic power units. Believe it or not, we actually offer over 10 varieties of hydraulic power unit into the marketplace today and we're finding out from time to time that people are having a hard time visually identifying the differences. So we're here to point those out to you. Um, the first one that I think is noteworthy that we have to mention is our classic hydraulic 12 volt power unit. Part number here is actually V351HPU1. When you're looking at this unit specifically, you're going to notice the fitting size on the front. You're also going to notice the mate and lock connector and 12 volt notif uh, notified or signaled by the black solenoid valves. We'll talk specifically about the differences as we go down the line, but if you're looking for a classic trim tab pump and your system on your boat is 12 volts, this is going to be the unit for you. Just make sure it has this connector, this face plate, and these two solenoid valves. If you can visually make those three identifications, you know you're going to be ordering the correct uh, part number for your replacement or to add into your existing system. The next unit is an um, OEM specific unit that we do offer. You actually have to purchase this through the OEM, but you'll notice a slight number of differences here, uh, primarily the waterproof connector and the fitting size. Same 12 volt solenoids. Then we get into, I only have one valve coming out of my faceplate, and that obviously or common, common sense tells you that is a single valve hydraulic power unit. You're also going to only see one valve and three out of the four pins inside the connector. This is pretty much the same unit but with a OEM specific T fitting here in the front. So if you have this unit and you're looking for a replacement, you're going to see that there would be an installation difference. Can you purchase this hardware? Yes, but we'd prefer you to have us install it here so we can pressure test this unit complete. Then you're getting into, okay, my hydraulic power unit has four solenoid valves. In fact, some people call us and tell us, I actually have two solenoid valves on the outside of my Lexan cover. Again, this is your Lexan cover. So what you're seeing here is a manifold and a dual acting hydraulic power unit primarily used in special applications and for hatch lift cylinders. Right here next to it, it looks to be the same exact unit, but it is not. Again, this is a special unit with a different wiring configuration for a specific OEM. Then we get into a dual purpose pump. Now, if you ask me what the difference in a dual acting versus a dual purpose pump is, is this is actually designed originally to run a set of 12 volt hydraulic trim tabs and also a single hatch lift system. So you're gonna notice the manifold here has one solenoid valve on the underside. That completes our 12 volt offering that you're seeing on this table today. Then we move into our 24 volt system. Again, visually it looks very similar, but there are some key differences that will help you identify the part number you need. And with that being said, the biggest difference is going to be the solenoid valve cover. On all the 12 volt unit systems, you are seeing black solenoid valves. Here you have beige solenoid valves. You're also going to say, well, is the motor the same? No, it is not. But the easiest way to visually identify it is the color of the solenoid valve. Another variation here. is showing you the waterproof connector variation. And then finally, we have the dual acting hydraulic power unit in 24 volt configuration. So it's gonna look near identical to this one, but those solenoid valves are your true indicators. So my three big tips here, your three takeaways, are look at the color of the solenoid valves, check the faceplate area, whether it has just a standard faceplate or a manifold, and then look at your connector and the wires going into it. If you're able to talk to us um, through that process or visually look at the images on our image database, you'll be able to identify the proper hydraulic power unit for your application. 